It is October 1st. That means it is the first day of Inktober. And this month, you guys are going to be joining me on a wonderful inky journey. Today, we're going to ink this piece. I'm going to go over the materials and then I'm going to ink it in time lapse. But if you're looking for more inking tutorials, inking tutorials, more ink supply reviews, or just some inspiration, make sure you check out my two inky playlists, Inktober Art Snacks Collection. Yeah, our Inktober Art Snacks collection for 2016. That's last year, so I'm not doing it this year. And my Advanced Inking Techniques playlist. If you need even more inspiration, head on over to natosoup.blogspot.com and check out my wonderful brush pins. Bleh. Cannot talk. My wonderful brush pin reviews in the sidebar. So this was already penciled with non-photo blue lead. I am using the 500 series mixed media paper in the Strathmore Visual Journal. And this little notebook, or this not so little, this sketchbook has 32 pages, I believe, which is just perfect for Inktober. And I'm going to be sharing this collection as a zine and to my wonderful, delightful patrons once Inktober is over. And I'm doing a bunch of Lilliputian prompts to help celebrate my webcomic 7-inch Kara. So I am so glad you guys could join me. So for today's piece, I am going to be using some mixture of these three inking supplies. These are all pigment-based, waterproof inks. We've got a Pigma Sensei FB, waterproof, Copic proof. We've got the Sailor Mitsuo Ida. This is a Fude pen. It's a double-sided Fude pen with a large and a smaller brush. Um, pigment based, also waterproof. And then we have the pigment based Pintel brush pen. This is my first time using the pigment based one, but not my first time using the brush pen. First things first, we're gonna wanna do some warm ups. So for warm ups, uh, you just need a blank sheet of paper. I have some cheap card stock here and we've got the brush we're gonna use and you're just getting yourself familiar with your utensils. So we're going to make some really fine lines and gradually get thicker with more pressure. We're going to make some really thick lines and see when the brush starts to dry brush out. We're going to do some fast lines. We're going to do some slow lines. We're going to do some lines like here. And then do some thin lines like we were outlining the face. And some thicker lines like we were implying a shadow. And we're just sort of familiarizing ourselves with the tool. I would also recommend you do this if you are doing this with a traditional brush. And you can check out some of my traditional brush inking tutorials here on this channel. You would do this if you were using a food day pen if you wanted to, if you're not familiar with that. That is, I've heard some crafters call it a food pin, which is always super amusing. Also goes by the name Sign Pit, and it has a very fine brush tip. Uh, many of them use foam rubber, so they don't get chewed up the way pit pins tend to get chewed up. Right, so that was my warm up for the Pintel brush pen. Doesn't mean I'm going to use it to ink the whole piece, but since I haven't used one in a while, I have used a Pintel pocket brush, but I haven't used a Pintel brush pen for inking alone in a while, it's nice to do a little bit of warming up, get the hand prepared. And then I'm going to start with the faces and I'm also going to want to use a cover sheet 
to help protect the paper in case things get inky. And your cover sheet doesn't need to be cardstock. It does need to be clean. So this is just an inexpensive sheet of cartridge paper that I'm going to rest my hand on as I ink this piece. So I am going to ink this in time lapse and I hope you enjoy watching my process.
right guys, I think I am just about done with this piece. At the end of Inktober, I may opt to ink wash these. I haven't yet decided, but since I did them on mixed me medium vellum paper, with pigment based inks that shouldn't be a problem. So I hope I will see you guys again really soon, maybe even tomorrow and we'll work on another Inktober piece together. And I hope you guys are enjoying this Inktober and I think, and I hope, sorry, I'm all over myself today. I hope you guys are participating as well. Bye guys.